big shout out to Jermaine Land Rover Jaguar of Easton for providing this Land Rover Discovery for us to review today. Now this is the Land Rover Discovery equipped with the black roof and the, the two-tone color. Here you have your standard Land Rover Jaguar key fob. This is the only Land Rover that is three row that has a third row you can see your parking sensors down there now i now this is a little power folding piece i would demonstrate the third row but there's a bunch of crap including cleaning kits and all that so you go ahead and close that down here you have your gas cap of course it's a land rover premium full feel you do have proximity sensing lock the car put the key in my pocket on the door handle, vehicle automatically unlocks. You can see you have this nice perforated design. We'll get into the back later. Swinging back around to the front, you can see you have your LED reflector headlights with your daytime running LED light. Let's go ahead and take a look on the interior. You can see to put your key you would insert the mechanical key in there and then this part would pop off and then you would turn the key. This has a nice kind of wood grain finish with this nice black, black interior with white with white piping with, with leather stitching. And you can see you have perforated seats. Closing the car, I do have to say, it's very quiet. Now, to start the vehicle, foot on the brake and press the start stop button. So first we're gonna do the Varja test because the sun is killing me. Three, two, one. What is it with Land Rover and Jaguar? They need to start doing better on the visor test. You have your power seats. Again, this is more of a family vehicle. Third row, like finally. <coughs> you have your lane cube assist system with your adaptive cruise control and all that jazz. Up you can see you have a, this is all screen. None of it's digital, because we're living that live. That, um, the turn signal has that nice luxury sound. So opening the door, closing it. It's a nice solid thump. You can hear the luxury. Here you have your standard Land Rover Jaguar infotainment system. I mean, I mean, I don't believe it comes available with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Again, Land Rover, no freaking guidelines. I think it's locked. No freaking guidelines anywhere. You can see this is the front two, so that's the front, and these are the front two sides. Can you change angles? You can see it says the vehicle passing by. Oh, can you please give me? So let's do it. Does have a 360 view? Again, no. Again. Oh, that's the washer camera, and that's the backup camera. You click that again. The parking sensors. Oh, all right. See, it does have a washer, as you guys just saw. I'll show you guys when we get back out there. This button opens this stuff, and you have a slot for your DVD. But then you have to push to close that, which I do think is kind of cool. Anyway. Yeah, so that's that demonstrating it all the time. You can see, you can see it. It will spray twice. You can see the fluid dropping off. Here you have your parking shift, your everything here. 
does have auto suspension. You can currently feel the vehicle rising. You can kind of see it. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look in the second row. While exiting the vehicle, you will hear a chime. Back here, you do have blind spot detection for the rear door. If a vehicle is approaching, approaching and you don't see it, you have a little storage cubby, five volt power outlet, and all your auto controls. Here you have little clip-ons where you can clip on an iPad note and all that. Here you have all your light and, and stuff. Here, have a nice little armrest. Push that button and, this, and the headrest will change. And you also have a mini center for the third row passengers with um, also another pair of air vents down there. Now, to get to the third row, Oh, these are power seats. So then you push this button, and then everything it goes automatically. I want to get to the second row. Maybe it's on the other side. Again, now back here, you can see there's where that washer jet was washing the camera. It only happens when you wash the rear glass. You can see that's where all the dirty washer fluid. I do really like these LED tail lights. They don't stick out. They don't stick out. They kind of smooth into the body line. Now from this side, I believe is the only side that you can get to the third row from. Putting this button, I do believe. Yeah. I mean, I do not know how to get to the second row. You can put the seats up and down from here. Nice little discovery pad to around with you. And that's the blue design. Here, I believe, is your headlight washer. These come out and they just kind of blast out the headlights. You can see it. There's your sticker. It does get 16 city and 21 highway. It is $66,000. Of course, we have four wheel drive. To shut the vehicle off, you have your Meridian sound. To shut the vehicle off, just go ahead and push the start button. Start, start, stop button. You can see your screen goes off. And then when you open the door, everything does go off. Yeah, this is a manual release, it's not automatic. That was my review of this 2019 Land Rover Discovery. And another feature I want to point out, you have your panic button and then you also have your light button. This is something that Volvo used to do. I do believe that they still do it. And I do also think that this, this yeah, and this is something Land Rover Jaguar does. Basically, if you're walking up tonight after coming out back from a late party, push that button all the lights around the car will light up until you can get to your um until you can get to your car up there i don't know how good you can see those but those are your um, systems for your forward collision warning and your automatic emergency braking you have your seat controls anyway that was my review 
of this 2019 Land Rover Discovery. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Don't make sure, make sure to like and subscribe.